Hello everybody, my name is Katamo, welcome back for another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Now, in the last video, we started off with the uh, our second season of Simula Assimilation, the first half of it. Uh, we did pretty well so far, at least. Uh, we are 25, 12, and 3, so we had some struggles here and there, but we managed to figure out the right settings, in my opinion, since we haven't had an actual bad simulation per se uh for 10 games right so our best player right now is Hoffman of course with uh, 37 points and uh, 40 games played we managed to revamp our team completely to make it so that they're actually you know a decent team and we uh by doing that we uh, basically uh, went and got went after a bunch of veterans like Hoffman, Dadanov, uh, Schwartz you know, Nugent Hopkins, all these great players, uh, Getzlav, and also Mark Strom for the, uh, our future goaltender, basically. So we went up for a bunch of free agents, veterans that could help us out. It's, it's working out so far in, the, in uh, this year. Now, I don't know for how long it's going to work out, but we'll have, to, we'll have to see, I guess. Right now, I'm just ready to simulate the next 10 games, boys. Uh, we are going to go five games ahead like I always do. I'm just going to make sure that uh, the scouts, everybody's assigned. Nope, not everybody's assigned. So I got to make sure that uh, I do work on these guys, uh, on these scouts, because this is really important. So this guy's already assigned. I'm going to take a look at everyone that I don't, uh, every single player. Just make sure that I do scout the right ones. All right, good boys so far. I mean, we're having a really good season, so I'm here's hoping that um, if we make it to the playoffs, we can actually make it far, get gain some experience for the likes of Ishar and uh, Use would be really good boys. So everybody else in the scouts are assigned. We're ready to go, I believe. So let's just go right in. I am gonna uh, the, I'm gonna take a look once we are at the free uh, trade uh, deadline. We're gonna take a look at everything, but I don't know if we're gonna make any trades. I'll have to see because my big moves are usually done during the free agency and not during the trades uh, trade deadline. So one, uh, two, three, four and five. So at the uh, New Jersey or the New York Islanders game, we're going to stop there to uh, look at our scouts. But right now, looks, look, we are continue to win. We have a winning streak going on. Uh, right as I say that we lose a game, but that's fine. Uh, three nothing. St. Louis, we win a game. There we go. So we don't really lose too often. I like seeing that, boys. We have uh, a good team in our hands right now. Managed to turn the team completely around, I feel like. So that's it's just fantastic for us, really. So um, after five games, we're doing fantastic. I just want to look at this, uh, the scouts. That's the only thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do really quick. Make sure that everybody's assigned. Everybody is assigned, so I don't need to worry about anything. So... I, I might be tempted to just start doing every 10 games, uh, literally, like I was doing er earlier on in the previous video. So two, three, four, five. I believe it's at the Dallas Stars. We're going to stop for the fifth uh, game after the fifth game. So let's do it. Continue simulation. Uh, Brett Sini is back. Who is that? Is he a defenseman or something? Oh, it's probably a minor injury. I think it's minor injury, boy. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, the Oilers have fired their head coach. Uh, nothing changes over there, I guess. They're always trash and always will be. They're never, they're never gonna be good, boys. These Oilers. I should have probably uh, chosen uh, choose th these guys uh, uh, instead. I mean, I think they uh, they would need my help, <laughs> definitely. With the likes of McDavid and Drysaddle, they're gonna be stuck in this tra trash ass team forever. Especially since uh, McDavid just re-signed uh, recently, so he's stuck in there. I don't know what he's thinking about. All right, boys. So we got so far so good. I guess we're we're really uh, starting to do having a proper uh, season. We did have two losses in a row right here, which we uh, gave up eight and six goals. But aside from that, I mean, we're winning games. Uh, we are giving up quite a lot of goals, though. So kind of worrying a little bit, but at least as long as we're scoring more than we're allowing, we're going to win games. So six and four, so still a good record after uh, the previous 10 games, which puts us at 32, 16 and three after 50 games. Uh, where are we in terms of the uh, standings? We're still second in our division. 
We got to stay on the top three, obviously, because I don't think we're going to ever be able to compete with the wild card spot. I think it's the most difficult thing to do in this game. So I think we really want to keep ourselves to the top three uh, spots, the guaranteed spot. So let's uh, take a look at our team. Are we? Uh, where are we in terms of standings, right? Uh, power play stuff, all of this. So goals for per game, we are the second best dual goaltending team. Good goal scoring team. We are also the best defensive team. All right, the second best defensive team. Power play, I believe it went up, right? Because it went from 14 to 17 percent. So we uh, we went up. I'm not gonna change anything on that part. Penalty kill though, we're trending down. All right, so I do need to switch a penalty kill since we are trending down. Uh, we were the best penalty kill and all of a sudden we are a tweener zone. So uh, I got to uh, switch that one up, boys. So we'll see what we can do uh, really quick. Let's go into strategies. My dog's going to start um, complaining. So hold on, boys. Transition time. All right, so I've just, I'm quickly taking a look, boys, at all of our players. Especially Ishia and Yus, which are the big ones, right? The ones I'm trying to grow the most. And it's really working out because Jack Hughes right now is already at 87 overall. He's gonna grow. He's growing super fast, boys. Even though he's not having uh, like the best season ever, he's not having a fan, like a super, super superstar season. He's still having a good, decent season. And because he's playing uh, with uh, two guys that help him or helping him out offensively. I think uh, it's really a work, uh, working for him. He's 87. Ishar's at 89 overall, so he's still growing. He's growing as well. They both have plenty of years left to grow, so here's thinking that we're going to have two franchise players in the upcoming years really elevating this team to a next level, boys. And over here on defense, we don't really have... It's just a bunch of veterans, so we're not going to be looking at too much. Mark Storm is going to stay the same. It's really just two big prospects and the rest is just a bunch of veteran forwards and defensemen helping them out in the in the in the backside. So that's pretty much that. I don't have anything else. Uh, we have to take a look at our scouts, make sure that everybody is assigned. Nope, there is somebody that is not assigned. Let me uh, take a look really quick. Alpern is going to be an elite, huh? Yeah, we got. We're going to have all these uh, little players that are going to be really interesting that's why i'm doing it manually because once we get to the draft pick now we're going to be ready we're going to know exactly who to draft for boys we're going to be fantastically ready and i'm excited for that really tamara uh yeah i guess we can continue to get you really quick uh you rk don't need to uh, do this one if i see ahl boys i don't even bother scouting him i know he's not going to be good anyways it's a waste of time so let's scout the ones that are at least interesting. Let's go, boys. All of this. And that's done. Next up, the last one is going to be Extra League. Let's go in there and check up at all the guys. We got an elite, potential elite right there. Playing in Extra League. Usually the ones uh, that play in Extra League are the ones like Fosberg or like Philip Fosberg and stuff. The scouts tend to overlook them because they play in a smaller league or league that doesn't really matter too much but uh, i'm telling you these uh smaller leagues are usually the ones that pop up with the best players so you gotta watch out for those all right so since the scouts are done i think uh we're about ready to continue on our journey issues playing great we're gonna we're gonna continue straight ahead boys we're doing uh just fine uh, the only uh, troubling stuff was the penalty kill was for us trending down. So I switched it up to large box, in uh, large box instead of uh, d uh, diamond. We'll see if that works out. So two and a four, five, all the way to the Colorado Avalanche game. Let's see uh, if we can manage to get some wins. There we go. We're starting to win again. Overtime win. Uh, that's the one thing I like as well is if we get to overtime or shootouts, it seems like we are winning more often than not. Uh, the the big case is only three losses in overtime, you know, in shootouts. So that's the big difference right there. We're actually getting that bonus point when it matters, right? And we uh, when we need it, we're getting it. So it's really fantastic for us. There we go, another shootout win, boys. That bonus point is really important, and we're getting it. We're working it hard, boys. 
I don't think I'm gonna need to I'm just gonna go 10 uh, 10 games every time so uh, two four five all the way up uh, I'm gonna stop the day before the trade deadline because I want to make sure that I don't have any players that I don't want to have into the trade locker and stuff like that like uh, last year everybody was bothering me every team was bothering me about buffalo gun I didn't want to trade him he was just there for some reason uh, so two uh, other uh, wins afterwards it's a shootout last so we got a point out of that anyways Nico Ishiar got injured that is not good we're going to simulate the two um, the two games we're going to trust in the one that's replacing him all right so that's after 10 games another great record of 7-2 and 1 this time around even better boys so we're going to get to the 40 win mark which usually means that uh, that's you at, you at least need 40 wins in the in the season to get to the playoffs guaranteed boys it's minimum that Hoffman with a 30 goal a season so far in 61 points 61 games he's having a fantastic season boys a renaissance for him definitely he's having a fantastic season I love it and uh, what about um, the capitals okay so before I link to the trade deadline I did say I wanted to look at our draft board no trading block there we go wanted to uh look at our trading block yeah i do not want to trade any of these guys all right i'm not interested i don't want to trade anybody i'm actually i don't even know if i want to make any trades whatsoever to be honest um i would be curious to it would be curious to see if i could uh maybe i need to trade something but first off we're going to make our due diligence because it is a trade deadline first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the team uh how did we uh go right we're now the best scoring team in the league uh, in the division fantastic uh p goals against is actually going up we're third be uh, best instead of being the second best we're the third best but still a good defensive uh, team so i don't need to worry too much uh power play it's trending up big time 19 percent now it went by two percent and penalty kill it's now at 81.3 so it's tr still trending down so i'm gonna have to put it on uh passive box i guess and that's rough it's the penalty kill i don't know why it's trending down boys trending down all right well in that case let's go into the strategies again and we're gonna make another tweak move all right we're gonna make more tweaks and I guess instead of large box, we're going to have to go to passive box. Edit lines. Let's see if any player is ready. So Zajac right now is the one replacing uh, Isha. I am just going to go. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, these guys in there. Right, let's go. Getslav's going to move up and uh, Nugent Hopkins is going to move up as well. And for the next part. Okay, so what, what else do we want to see? Because so far, he shares having a great season. Uh, we have goalie-wise. Do we need to maybe trade someone like uh, Longfist? Uh, how much do I have him? For how long? I have him for one year. That's his last year under contract. I'm going to have to re-sign him or got, uh, get rid of him after this year. He's probably going to retire too. Uh, uh, any team, right? We don't really necessarily need him as a veteran goalie. We could probably get someone that's like a prospect goalie or something let me check a look uh do we have anybody in the system we don't have like a, a goalie so maybe we could change instead of having a, an aging goaltender that's probably going to retire after this year uh we could probably try and trade him to a team see if there's any team that would be interested in giving me another goalie in exchange something like that you never know uh right uh, just a goalie uh, prospect goaltender that I could play as a backup or something because that's what I need the most right now is a prospect goaltender or you know someone that can still grow and have for the future because Mark Strom is 31 years of age aside from that I don't see any weak points in our team to be honest I do maybe the right wing needs to be upgraded definitely right we need to upgrade the right wing maybe that's our weakest point aside from that i've got a pretty solid team i don't think i need to make any trades boys i think we're good so um i'm gonna um, just for the sake of it we are gonna put uh let's say uh trading block we're gonna put long in there 
just see if anybody would be interested in him because he is going to retire for sure after this year. I, I would imagine so. He's 39 years of age, only one year left on the contract. Uh, what we do want is we definitely want a goaltender. So I'm not looking for any of this. All right, I'm not looking for any players. Uh, the one thing I want is a goaltender. So I, I need a goaltender. Uh, potential, like three, at least three stars. Three stars potential. And uh, maximum age, I'm gonna th I'm gonna say 30, uh, 30 years of age. All right, so I need a goalie. That's the one thing I need the most. Um, current picks, I would be interested in having the first rounds, second rounds, anything. Right? If you're willing to give me those stuff, give me those stuff. All right, I would be interested in, uh, interested in that. So that's the only thing I want. So let's take a look. We're gonna jump in. So tr advance to the day and we're going to jump in in there, boy. So seller uh, key current trade block. So it's your pro scout before we head out. Yeah. So if you want to update your trade block, uh, trade bl uh, block right now, it says I'm a buyer, right? A buyer means that I'm going to buy players to go to the, uh, which is definitely the case. I'm definitely going to be a buyer big time right now because I'm trying to make it to the playoffs. Maybe if you could give me something in exchange. Uh, let's just say we are a buyer for now, all right? We're going to enter the trade deadline uh, just to see uh, if there's anything interesting. Shea Weber is in the trade block. So Montreal is willing to get rid of Shea Weber, but he's still... Look at his contract. That's horrible. And that's a horrible contract. 36 years of age, still five years at $7 million? Wow, that's horrible. Even though he's he is 88 overall, exactly still at 36 years of age, you never know. Uh, I could I could try and go after him, but what, look at his trade value. It's all the way up. His trade value is all the way up. Chicago uh, just got some uh, round picks in exchange for Amanam Ducks. Lynn Holm, all right. So Giordano, there's a bunch of defensemen here and there. Goaltenders, yeah, there's a, look at that. Everybody's willing to uh, get rid of their goalies. Uh, Crawford, Oldby, right? They all want to get rid of their veterans and stuff like that. Now, I don't know. Uh, they're showing me the veterans because they know that's the type of uh, players I would be interested in, you know? But uh, let's let's do our due, due diligence. I don't know if I'm going to have... Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to go after someone like Weber. Too much of a value right there. Uh, but uh, defenseman like Empen, Empus Lindholm, he just got traded though. He, do, he did just get traded. I don't know, boys. Look, we'll do other due diligence, I guess. Weber. Weber, Weber. Um, he's still 36. Uh, elite, exact elite. We could try and go after him, I guess. But who would we trade for right here, right? We would have to trade like a prospect or something for this guy. I'm not willing to do that. I'm really not. Uh, especially since I already have Buffalgun. Not the same thing exactly because he's going to draw faster than uh, Weber. But still, I don't know. Uh, my decor is way fine. So I'm not interested in that. going to trade alert to Columbus. They got Merz, uh, Merleski and uh, G Jenner in exchange for Ongvist. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Unless I see any... Is there like anything whatsoever that i would like per in particular for myself like i need a, a right winger that's what i'm looking for right here so anybody in particular that uh, you guys want to trade i don't see anybody here arizona coyotes buffalo traded uh jonas anderson or something like that for nick Letty and Bjork bjorkstad okay all right, Buffalo don't have doesn't have anything. I'm not going for defense, but I'm, I only thing I'm more interested about is neither rider would be a good one. All right, we got one, we got one right here, boys. Uh, Archibald, that's garbage, but we do have neither neither rider. Let's keep that in mind. Top six sniper. All right, let's keep that in mind. We're gonna see if there anybody else has anything under their uh, f uh, I guess hat that they were willing to give me. Uh, James Neal, but 34 years of age, this one. He's getting uh, definitely old. Top 9 exact already. 
No, he's gonna drop fast. Top nine exactly is not good. He's just gonna drop super fast. So I don't want that. Neither rider so far is the best option. Uh, Bjorkstrand. Oh, there we go. Bjorkstrand, boys, just got traded, by the way, as well. But he's 26 years of age. Top six medium. Plenty of time to still grow. Uh, 82 overall. But he's got a lot of value. He's got a lot of value. Or do they want a do they want a goalie or something? I don't know if they want a goalie. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see. We're gonna try and go for Bjorkstrand. That seems like a good one, boys. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I am not willing to trade any of my draft picks because we are still a young team, right? I want to keep uh, my first rounders a thing as a thing. So, and uh, Longfist basically doesn't have any value whatsoever. Really, Longfist doesn't have any value, boys. So, um, that's not going to happen. It really isn't going to happen. Uh, too much value right there. Maybe need a rider I could still, but yeah, I don't think I have anybody. I don't, I'm not going to make any trades. I'm going to wait for anybody who would want possibly to give me somebody in exchange for Longfist. I don't know if anybody's truly interested, boys, in uh, long vis or not. We'll have to wait it out, really. All right, so we skipped the trade deadline. Really nothing I had to do right there. There's nothing important. We are going to take a look at all the little trades that happened during the trade deadline, though. So players pick trading, a lot of trades. I'm going to take a look at the ones that are important. So Trocek going to uh, Vegas, I guess. Boychuk. I guess no not really anything interesting right here taking a look all the teams any names whatsoever that would be interesting Derek Brassard to Toronto anybody else nothing Margio Dano boys going to um, the Jets in exchange for a third round pick wait that's it just a third round pick in exchange for Giordano what that's a st what that's a steal how the hell did this happen? How was that allowed? Okay, whatever, boys. Oh, no, okay, I see now. I see. Okay, no, I see what's going on. So they... Marcellano and a third round pick in exchange for a second. Blah, blah, blah. Third. Okay, all right. I see now. It makes sense. All right. I was reading it wrong, boys. So Montreal uh, traded Edmondson for Tyler Ennis. Interesting choice right there. Pearson, Arley, Bushnevich, Oliver Bjorkstrand going to uh, Boston in exchange for a first round pick boys but Brockstrand and Jeff Carter in exchange for a first round pick wow they went all out they're going for it boys and uh, that's pretty much it as you can see I did see Kreider Fleur, uh, Fleury as well okay then I think uh, that's pretty much it we can continue our simulation we got nothing to uh, to really look at right here boys Nothing to look at. We're just gonna continue our simulation. Hold on. Actually, I need. I do need to take a look at the scouts. That's right. I forgot. Almost forgot, boys. All right. So I went ahead and equipped the scouts. I mean, we're gonna skip nine games because we're already at 61 games played. For some reason, I miscalculated it, boys. So um, that's gonna be two, four, six, eight, and nine. So after that game against Buffalo, it's gonna be against the Columbus Blue Jackets. We're gonna stop there. That's going to put us, that uh, should put us at 70 games overall played. Evgeny Dananov injured. So we got a second injury right here. We're going to have to go in the system to find somebody. We're actually not because Ishir is back. Ishir is ready to play. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get Zajac out of there. Put back Ishia really quick. There we go, Ishia. They're going back in there, even though you're not quite ready. Uh, yet uh, we don't have a choice because I don't want to have to go to the system and do all bunch of stuff for no reason. So uh, Ryan, you're going in there. Merkley, you're going in there. Uh, you're top nine, right? Yeah, you're. Uh, I guess Zajac, you can stay in there. You can stay uh, above uh, Gramner. So let's go, boys. Let's keep it at like that for now. Uh, shootout loss. Ishar is back, so he's fully healed now. That's perfect for us. And he just got injured again. Not perfect at all. You would just got fully healed and now he's... God, you fucking bitch. I hate him so much. All right. Looks like Zajac's gonna have to replace you. Or we're just gonna get somebody else. Okay, let's... Let's go to the, uh, the roster moves, boys. We're gonna have to find a player to replace him. 
Oh, I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Uh, the injuries are going back, boys. Uh, Ishiar is getting injured over and over again. Guess who's replacing him? It will be Franz Nilsson. He's going to replace him. Eugene Hopkins, you're going back in there. And Yetzlav, you're going back in there. So that's pretty much that. Uh, someone's got to replace Franz Nilsson and the Miners. Uh, just put Ericsson in there for now. All right, and that should do it. Now, please, no more injuries, and please chill, all right? Let me simulate the games. So, Dadanov is back. All right, Dadanov is now back. So, now we can get uh, rid, I guess, of um, Zajac. Yeah, let's, uh, first off, okay, first off, we're going to do, first thing we're going to do. Uh, Dadanov, you're going back in there, just like that, going back like that. Uh, Nilsson, you're gonna get replaced by uh, Ishia, which he, apparently is back. He's ready to go again. I know last time I put him in there, he got injured again, but I don't have a choice here. I gotta keep it going, boys. I'm gonna keep my two players just in case something happens, which will probably be the case. So we got two wins in a row right here. Ishia is back. Uh, three wins in a row. Let's go. Th four wins in a row. That's what I like to see. Let's continue. There's a loss, but there's another win. Good. Good, 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 boy. So 45 wins, 20 and 5. We're doing fantastic. We're having an incredible season, actually. Even though Ishiar is getting injured every single uh, five minutes, uh, we do have a, a fa fantastic season. We could probably get to the 50 marks uh, wins if we're lucky enough, if we play good enough. So 95 points. We're actually in the contendership for the best team of the year, the President's Trophy, boys. We could go after it. But we got to beat the Bruins for that. And uh, they're bring, uh, they're playing really good. So I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see, boys. But not too shabby, man. Going from one of the worst teams to the President's Trophy in within uh, one year. That's what I'm talking about right here. So uh, now that everybody's healed up, I can head back to the roster moves. Get back uh, Franz Nilsson in the minors. And we got to play him in the minors. We can't let him go into the bench. Right, uh, we gotta make him play a little bit. So, AHL Ericsson, where, what were you? Oh, you're a garbage player. Yep. So let's get back Franz Nilsson in there in his original position. Do we have anybody that really grew? Not so much. I mean, our low elite is not doing too good in the first line. But I gotta keep him in there just to make him grow as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, not really anybody is growing too much, boys. So. Don't really need to look that uh, that deep into the AHL for now. So that's pretty much uh, that. We can continue simulating. I do want to look. Do we have to make any tweaks whatsoever? Where are we in terms of, of gameplay and everything? We are still the best scoring team. And we are still the... We're now the second best uh, defensive team once again. So there we go. Power play uh, going down a little bit. We're still like in the top tier though so i like that i'm gonna not i'm not gonna change anything and penalty kill well i don't know what to do about it i think we're gonna put it back at diamond boys because i just don't know what to do with it i think it's just my lineup uh, by themselves are pretty garbage there's bound to be something that doesn't work uh, eventually right so that's fine i guess let's just do diamond i think you know what Penalty kill? No, there's nothing for the penalty kill. There's no breakout for that. So we can't, we can't really switch anything about that. So we could probably uh, go into edit lines, I guess. And take a look at our special units, which is going to be penalty kill. So this is not working out. Now, obviously, yeah. There's, I mean, I put a bunch of two ways in there. I thought they would be good defensively, right? They would be good defensively. Yeah, I mean... I thought for sure they would be good. Maybe if I put Getslav in there instead, it would be better. Maybe uh, this is going to be better. I'm just going to do that, I guess. Whatever, boys. I don't, like, I don't know per se what's the matter here. I mean, I've got, I, I did it myself towards where it would be the best defensive player possible. But uh, oh well. Sometimes things don't work as you want uh, want them to work, but it's fine, I guess. So, 70 games played. Oh, yeah, I do need to take a look at my scouts again. Hold on. All right, our scouts have been assigned. I'm ready to simulate the last 12 games, basically. 
So let's go into the last 12 games, boys. All the way up at the Philadelphia Flyers, actually, the next 10 games, just to be sure. All right, so two more games, two more wins right there. Hopefully, we don't get any injuries before the playoffs. Everybody's going to uh, needs to stay uh, safe, stay in shape, because we're going to need everybody. We're at this point, we already made it to the playoffs. We're... We have we made it to the 50 mark wins boys so we made it with the the, uh, the 50 wins which is fantastic it really is fantastic it's a great season by us uh, i did not expect us to do so good after last year right to have such a turnaround in terms of production and everything but i am i mean i'm happy about it it's really fantastic for us now we just need to continue winning or getting points and maybe we can get the 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 president's trophy but i doubt it's gonna happen because we are losing quite a bit of game uh, ever since we got uh, that injury from brad like at least he's back now you know at least he's back just in time back just in time boys so where are we let me see real quick so 106 for the canucks 103 for the avalanche 105 for the Bruins and 108 for me. So it's between me and the Penguins, boys. It's between us and the Penguins. We're in there. We could win it. We we, we could win it, boys. This is it. Two more wins. One or two wins. And we could possibly win. You know, we at least need one point or something. We need to get some points. So no regulation losses here. And we could possibly get the President's Trophy in our second year already, boys. 44 goals for Hoffman. What a fantastic season for him. What a, It's definitely his best season ever with 86 points. This guy is incredible in the first line. I found his mark, boys. I found uh, him playing with Jack Hughes. Good Lord, that's a good uh, combination. So uh continue boys let's just continue simulate the next game oh that's a regulation loss that's the last thing we need no regulation losses here uh where are the penguins same amount okay so whichever team makes it on top boys between the penguin and us it's between the two of us so either pittsburgh or us for the president's trophy we gotta win that goddamn game or at least get a point a single point would assure us of the president's trophy we gotta have it. Let's go, boys. I count in on you. Win that goddamn game. Get us the president's trophy. Make me proud. Let's go. There's the win. That's what I'm talking about. 110. And they got the win, too. So that was clutch, boys. Clutch. And we are officially the best team in the league. Uh, you can see that Z. That Z. So that means... We are officially the best team, boys, of the entire league. That's what I'm talking about. Now, Boston, uh, Pittsburgh could still win it because we have the exact same stacks. Look at that, 52 both, 24 both, 6 both. So I don't know what it's going to come down to, who's going to win it at the end. But since they put me at first in the division, I believe it's going to be me. It's going to be my team, boys. And that is just fantastic. I love it, boys. Oh my god, what a season. What a season this was. We went from the one of the worst to the best team of the league. That's how you do it, boys. That's just how you do it. Take a quick look at our players right here. Uh, anybody that grew, there's still the same growth, really. So not, not too ordinary. Uh, out of extraordinary right here. Long Vis, you're not going to play in the... the the playoffs, you can forget about that. It's definitely going to be Markstrom. Great addition, by the way, Markstrom, to add. I think that's the main difference. We have a great goaltender helping us out in the uh, in the net. Uh, on top of having all these players like Hoffman, like having a fantastic season for us. 87 points, boys. Yeah, I mean, he's having a, a renaissance for sure. That's one hell of a season for, it, for him. And j talk about Jack Hughes. 57 points in uh better you know he would have had a much better year than last year it's just the fact that he got injured right for for a while actually he got injured for half of this uh, a third of the season so if it wasn't for that he would have had possibly in the 70 points or a high mid 70s or low 80s you know he would have had that 
And uh, that enough, I mean, that enough, as always, just the same type of player, reliable, you know what to expect out of him. 40 points uh, per season, you know, that's the type of player he is. Uh, let's take a look really quick at uh, the real stats. So the real thing that matters in there, uh, it's the team stats, boys. So after all that, after this year, finished up as the best scoring team. If we take a look at the entire league, right? Finished up as the third best goal, goal scoring team in the league. Uh, where are we in terms of goals against? Third best goal uh, goals against. God damn, that's good. Uh, power play. Hold on. Power play, power play. So we are... Oh, uh, we're right below there. So power play. We're actually... We're good. We're good. We're in the top tier for the power play. And penalty kill. We were the best at the beginning of the season. But we dropped. Like we dropped big time, boys. So we're uh, not one of the worst ones. Not one of the worst teams. But we're kind of a tweener zone for that side. So that's the uh, the one part that uh, I don't know what to do too much about that. But that's fine. And now that uh, player stats. Like to take a look at the player stats for real. So J Jesper Bratt again 57 points man. Uh, last year what a season he had right 60 points. It's basically the same season. The same kind of season. He got injured so he missed a couple of games. So maybe it's identical to last season. You know what to expect. It's a 60 uh, point player, basically. You know what to expect out of him. Uh, pretty solid player overall. Jack Hughes got injured a lot. Eugene Hopkins, decent season, 56 points, boys. But uh, he could have had a better season for sure. I mean, I think the fact that uh, what hurt him is the fact that he played the entire year almost on the third line. So that definitely hurt him because he doesn't play as much, right? He doesn't have as many time on ice. 17 minutes as opposed to probably 4, 24 minutes or something like that. So less time to score, make points. But, uh, you know, it's it, it's what it is. Uh, Bobby Ryan, I mean, still a great season for him. Uh, last year, it's the same thing as last year. So identical year from last year, boys. So he stays the same, basically. And the rest, uh, that's pretty much it. Defenseman-wise, uh, Hamilton, Buffalgun, Severson. I've got players that are not going to produce too much. As a even though it's offensive defenseman for Hamilton, kind of disappointing, actually. I was expecting, well, it's much better than last year for sure. So, I mean, I, gu I guess I did elevate uh, his play a little bit. I don't know, boys. Uh, Subrin, he's starting to drop off big time. Subrin is not good, boys. He doesn't produce at all, and he kind of played the entire year on the top six, though. So that kind of uh, explains it a little bit, too. Mark Strom with 39 wins, 901 per sa saving percentage, 91.9 uh, uh, saving percentage. Really good. If we go into the entire league, the best score of the year is Ovechkin, once again, with 51 goals. Never changed, my guy. At 36 years of age, is not getting uh, any weaker, boys. And after Mekinen, right, 49 goals, but Hoffman in their third place for third best score. Now Mekinen finished the best player with 111 points. How many did he have last year, by the way? He had 100 points. This guy is becoming a superstar, boys. McDavid, 90 points. Bergeron, 90 points. Crosby, 89. Pacioretty, Patrick Kane, Racco, Lendeskog, and Hoffman in the top 10, boys. Wow. Better than Malkin. So Malkin point all of these guys, right? As usual. And uh, the go defenseman, who's the best defenseman? Brent Burns. Uh, yeah, the be Brent Burns were 78 points. I mean, that's really good for 37 years of age. That's a really good defenseman right there. Good God. All right. So we got all this goalie wise. Who's going to win the, the, the Vizina this year? It's either going to be Markstrom or it's going to be uh, Tuka Rask. We'll have to see. It might go to Tuka Rask though. He's got more wins. Even though the saving percentage is better on Markstrom. Tuka Rask I feel like has the better uh, end of it. And the best uh, rookie of the year 
is Lafreniere, boys, with 59 points. So it looks like he didn't play last year. He played this year only. Interesting. So Lafreniere, he got drafted by the Anaheim Ducks. I forgot about that, boys. So there you go. Finishes first, boys. So that's pretty good. Um, we're going to go ahead and see who we're going to be facing uh, first in the playoffs. But would you look who it is, boys? We're going to be facing the Montreal Canadiens in the first round. Now, I, you guys probably know I did first knockout, right? A, a knockout rule. So it's basically just a one game knockout. Whichever team wins, moves on to the next round. It makes things a lot more interesting and it gives us a lot more chances to win the cup because you all know how the real time simulation works. Absolute garbo. So at least if we get lucky, we can get past that uh, quicker, you know? So we got more chances. So Montreal versus New Jersey to start the playoffs, boys. Interesting. Uh, if we take a look at the actual playoff tree really quick, we're going to see who's in there. So Dallas against uh, Winnipeg, Colorado against Cal Calgary, St. Jose against Vegas, C uh, Vancouver against Anaheim with um, um, the Lafreniere in there. That's in cra uh, crazy. Great rivalry game be uh, between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. That would be a great series right there. Uh, us versus Montreal. Toronto versus Tampa Bay. And the P Boston versus Capitals. All right, then. We're going to jump in. We're going to first off, of course, every time look, uh, look at the lines of every team we face against. So Montreal, what do they have? What do we have to work on against for this one game? Uh, Drouin, Kotkaniemi, and Gallagher. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Lekkonen, Tiernan, Chris, Tier uh, Chris Tierney. What the hell? All right. And Wayne Simmons. Interesting. They went for some depth right there. Tyler Ennis, Suzuki, and Raffle. Byron, Jankowski, and ne uh, uh, Neeson. Or Nosen, I guess. Yeah, they went from some depth uh, right there. They changed their team around big time. Uh, Charot and Weber, Mete and Jolson, Kulak and Fleury. So we definitely have a much better defense than them. Offensive-wise, I feel like we have the upper hand as well. And uh, goalie-wise, they're not worse, worse price. Mike Smith and Caden Primo? Where's Price? Is he injured? Price is injured, boys. Well, shit. Well, that's great news for us. We don't even have to fa fa face Price, boys, in the first round. He's injured. Oh, that's a bad news for them. We don't even have to face him. All right, so it looks like it's going to be Mike Smith defending the Montreal Canadiens, of all people. Why is it not Jake Allen? They already got rid of Jake Allen after one year, boys. Not surprising. All right, boys, so let's jump in. We got the the advantage bit time. We got the players. I don't see why we should, why we would lose right there. All right, there was no reason as to why we should lose. As uh, I say that Suzuki scored the first goal in the at the first shot, but Ishiar is gonna have answer back. It's Mike Smith in the net versus Markstrom. Markstrom should have the upper hand here. So let's go, boys. We should be able to dominate the Montreal Canadiens. They have some good players on the first line. But that's about all they've got, all right? Unless Weber starts blocking every single shot we do, don't think uh, it's going to happen, right? Mike Smith's not going to be the goaltender that's going to rob us. I don't believe so. Huh? I could be mistaken because already you can see uh, it's a tight game, boys. Pretty much the same amount of shots almost. Really close game. One-to-one -one still after two periods. That's very stressful. Oh, that is very stressful, boys. Um, I'm stressed out right now. Let's go, New Jersey. You got this, though. All right. We have the President's Trophy. We are the best team in the league. Ain't no way we're going to lose to these bastards. We uh, had a power play. We didn't score. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. Oh, they've got a power play. Penalty kill. Penal long penalty kill right there. Giving them a bunch of momentum right there. That's pretty bad, but looks like we're going to have to go to overtime. It's still 1-1, one one, one one, no goals. 
Mike Smith, Mike Smith played on his head, and so did Marstrom. It's a goaltender's game, boys. We're going to jump in, watch the AI do their thing. Here we go, boys. Right into the third period. I'm super excited. You're going to hear them play, but you're not going to hear the commentators because I'm going to be the one commentating. Let's go, boys. You got this. I might change it. Right now, I put it on broadcast. Uh, we'll see if I want to put it on the better broadcast. Actually, I like this camera a lot. I really like this camera a lot, boys. It's actually pretty good. All right, let's go, buddy. Up to... Uh, who's that? Jesper Fass? I, uh, I think that's uh, actually Hoffman, our good goal scorer Hoffman. Shoot it. There we go. And I'm playing as the coach right now. So I've got... I'm the one who puts the lines together. Let's go, boys. You got this. I'm going to let them with their original strategies for now. We'll see how it goes. Isha, win that face-off, buddy. He's going to lose it against Code Kanemi. That's fine. Uh, Drouin up in there. This is the playoff, man. This is this is going to determine it. Oh, there's a power play for us, man. They took a penalty. That's great. Isha up to... Oh, my God. What a chance missed right there. What a missed opportunity. What a save, though. Oh, wow. That was great. Code Kanemi... Rookie mistake right there. Uh, scared out of his mind. Takes a penalty on Bobby Ryan. And now we're going for the second uh, duo, boys. So the second power play line. Let's see what you can do for us. Jack Hughes, Hopkins, and Jesper Bratt. Let's see what you can do. Jack Hughes going to win that face off. Oh, and get on that rebound. But it's going to be a save by Mr. Smith. Oh, God. All right. You got to get the puck to um, to PK, man. PK's got to slap shot that shit. You're going to see it, man. Come on, man. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We got an open space. Told him to shoot it, boys. But it's a backhand shot, though. Pretty bad. Uh, so far, so good. We're doing fantastic. Win that face off, man. Tiernan's not going to beat you. Jakovsky's not going to beat you. Oh, yes. Nice. Almost, boys. Jakowski going to mount a comeback, though. Stop in. Stop in. Then they distract. Good job, PK. Good job. Don't lose that puck in front of the net, though. There we go. Nugent Hopkins going in there. Loses the puck in front of... Uh, by doing uh, trying to control it. Tiernan's going to... Oh, you're going to let him shoot it like that? You're going to power play, my guy. Go ahead. PK doing his thing. Going straight. Jesper Brad into uh, uh, office. It's going a little bit too fast for me, boys. I can't, can't do it. Uh, PK, PK, you gotta shoot that, all right? So if you get in the slot like that, if you're, there's nobody in front of you, you gotta shoot that shit. Let's go, boys. Oh my God, this is stressful as hell, too, because uh, you know damn well, right? Uh, we gotta get... We gotta win this game. It's a, it's a one game... It's a sing, it's single knockout. You gotta win every single game. Let's go. Let, we can't let the Montreal Canadiens surprise us, the best team in the league, and just basically win that against the Rednet game, all right? So, Yudishan Hopkins, great pass towards uh, Jesper Brat, but that's going to be it. Uh, I'm not going to tell them to uh, to, um, to change because right now I need I know all the players I can get on the ice right now. All right, you guys are good. All right, change for the fourth line. Change for the fourth line. Full change right now. Defensemen as well. Get in there. Get some energy going. Grabner, you're getting in there. All right, I know it's the... I know it's overtime, boys. We still we, we still need to play all of our lines. We still need to do it. We gotta trust in our uh, all of our lines right here. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Buffalo's gonna pass it to I don't know who that is. I can't see the numbers, boys. Can't see the names right here properly. That's Gramner. There we go. Oh, there we almost got it, buddy. Almost got it. Yeah, there we go. Energy line, boys. Energy line right there. Oh, doing their, a great job, by the way. Doing a fantastic job. And Mike Smith's going to have to stop that one. Let's go back with the first line. We're going to keep the, the first offensive pair in there. They're fine. Hoffman used that enough. Now's your turn. We create some uh, some uh, energy out of this. Uh, nice shot. Nice try. Nice try. Uh, Mike Hoffman's going to try to shoot it. I don't know why uh, he tried that. That's not never going to work, buddy. But that's fine. Yeah, AI is much more improved. It's, it's a lot... It's a lot better to watch them go at it. A lot better. And we, we just got another power play, boys. Uh, this time, yeah, I'm keeping the, the best ones this time. Be power play time. Power play time is the first line. 
Ishiar win that face up body up to Hoffman or something. Oh yeah, Hoffman should oh my god, come on Hoffman. You got you're you're straightforward. I know you're not on our shooting side, but you gotta you know you gotta one time that shit. You can't be uh doing back ends like that. Alright, good job. Shoot it like that. There we go. Right straight in front, boys, trying to screen the goaltender. Great job by the uh our players right here. They're gonna drop that. We're gonna change a uh, defensive pair real quick, right? And while they're do uh, they they're doing that, Bobby Ryan's gonna control break it, trying to snipe it uh, on the other side for Offman. Not gonna work. And uh, oh, nice try, nice try, trying to go for a little quick one timer on Bobby Ryan's part. We're gonna go back with the uh, the first uh, one. We're still in the power play. We still have a chance, boys. We can't uh, go into the second. Overtime, are we gonna get to the second overtime boys? If that's the case, that shit's gonna be crazy. It's gonna uh, uh, take so long. Shoot that puck. My goodness, Mike Smith is playing on his head, boys. I'm telling you. Mike Smith is crazy. He doesn't want to lose. Really doesn't want to lose, man. It's gonna take forever, this playoff. Whatever, it's, it's gonna be, it just be a, a lot of fun, boys. Shoot it. Yes, another great save by Mike Smith. The fuck am I supposed to do here? Like he's stopping them in my tracks, and you can see we have the power play and everything. Like we have all the time in the world. It's just Mike Smith doing his thing. Oh, nice try, nice try, uh, right there. Oh my God, Hoffman almost had it. He had the one timer right there. He just whiffed it. Go, yes. There we go. And we're moving on, boys. To the second round. Bye bye Montreal. At some point Mike Smith. He can't just save them all. He played on his head. All, all respect to that goalie man. He reminded me of the good old Mike Smith. From the Arizona days. Good lord. That was a great goaltending on his part. But he couldn't save his team all by itself. Right. Uh, he had to have players in front of him. And he, that wasn't the case. That's what I had. I had all the team in the world, boys. Markstrom didn't even have to do any, uh, any, really didn't have to work that much. It was all about the offense for us. So, a uh, great, great game. We're going to move on to the next series. I mean, 45 saves for Mike Smith, boys. God damn it. He was crazy. But at the end of it, well, the only thing that matters is who gets to go uh, further into the playoff. All right, the second round is going to be against the Philadelphia Flyers. It looks like they eliminated the Pittsburgh Penguins, boys. Crosby must be out of his mind right now. He must be raging like crazy, losing to his rivals. But we're facing against Philadelphia Flyers, which are a really good team. 47 wins this year, boys. One of the best teams by uh, for sure. So let's take a look at what we are up against. Uh, considering the fact that we struggled against Montreal and Montreal wasn't that good of a team, I'm kind of scared now. Yeah, I, now I'm scared. Now I'm definitely scared. Look at that team. Holy shit. Claude Giroux, Sean Couturier, and Jara uh, Jacob Varashek, boys. What a first line. Second line, James Van Riesdijk, Nolan, Nolan Patrick, and Travis Konechny. That is one hell of a second line. Third line, Brendan Saad, J Jonathan Taze. These two are paired up together once again. But uh, instead of being Chicago, it's Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia, And they're playing with Kevin Hayes. Good Lord. Can you imagine Jonathan Taze on the third line, guys? Oscar Lindblom, Ma uh, Miku Koivu, and Joel Faraby, boys. Wow, a depth, a de a deep line right there. I, we might get eliminated. I don't know. We're already, it's over, boys. Provorov with Gottschisbeer. Seinheim with Petrie. The Kaiser with Van Riemsdyk. The two Van Riemsdyks playing together. Uh, Carter Hart in the net with Ryan Miller. Yeah, all right. It's over, boys. It's over. We've lost. It's uh, definitely over now. We uh, There's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. We're not going to win against these guys. I could probably try and put uh, every single, my like all my best players together 
and try to make the uh, like really make us win it was good while it lasted we're gonna go into it but uh you see that team that is a scary team that is not the montreal canadians right there anyways let's see what we can do against them maybe you can spark a surprise or something uh let's go we're going to eight minutes time we are getting out shooted a little bit actually it's a pretty close game and merkley is going to score for us so hey there's that merkley scoring for us that's perfect boys that's fantastic carter art does have a weakness after all we're going to be able to beat that goalie 90 overall goaltender though boys that's the scary part we have markstrom at 87 but uh, Carter Arts uh, 80, 88, but Carter Arts 90, and he's growing even further. He's only going to get better. So that's the, uh, the scariest part. But right now, we're doing okay. We're starting to outshoot them a little bit. And Jaden Schwartz is going to score a goal for us against... Oh, hold on, hold on. We might have it on the books right here. Well, uh, it's not over until we have a three goal game though. Yeah, that's not enough. Two goals is not gonna be enough against this team. They've got a deep team. They got all the players in the world to score. Claude Giroux is gonna score one. Can we uh, manage to shut it down? Can Markstrom shut it down for us boys though? I think he can, hold on. Do it buddy. One minute left and he did. He did shut it down for us. And the only goal they scored was on a power play. So we struggle. We're struggling on a penalty kill. So I guess we shut them down completely. Markstrom's playing great. He's playing great this season. So you know what? I think they actually upgraded it. The real-time simulation is actually good this, uh, this year, boys. I'm not going to talk too quick about it. As we are going to be facing the Tampa Bay uh, Lightning in the next uh, round. But uh, I think the goaltender situation is much better this year. It's actually, it does matter, actually. It actually does matter. That's crazy. That's really good. Because I've got Mark, Mark Strom. Mark Strom is actually playing really nice. He's protecting us big time. I like that. I like seeing that, boys. That's, that's a good thing to see, I guess. That's a re a really reconforting. Tempo Bay Lightning, what do we have? Alex Kellern, Brandon Point, and Kucherov, of course. Even even a dangerous, more dangerous team, right, up front. Uh, Pelat with Stamkos and Radic. Namensnikov, Johnson, uh, Rodriguez, Maroons, uh, Shirelli, and uh, Barry Boulet. All right, so they've got a, d a deep team, but at the same time, not as deep as us so we got a better uh, we got better depth in the back but up front they've got better superstars they've got big uh, three huge superstars and they've got a defense as well just like us similar defense to be honest and men with Sergachev, uh mcdonough with tanev and ryan murray with shattenkirk uh next up goalie wise vasilevsky so it's kind of similar to the Philadelphia Flyers, except the Philadelphia Flyers are a little bit scarier because of the depth, you know. Definitely scarier in my opinion. But these guys, you never know. They've got a lot more 90s, 90s players overall. So they might be the ones to, yeah, Schadenkirk is going to score f uh, the first goal for them uh, after the second shot only. Um, I'm not going to be mad if we lose, all right. Hoffman scoring a goal for us. There we go. But I'm not going to be mad if we lose, but it would be great if we could win. Uh, Edmund's going to score, so the, the, the defensemen are the ones scoring goals for them right now. That is not good. Shut down these defensemen. They shouldn't be scoring. It's not power play goals. Radic, oh yeah, it's over. It's over. All right, so I don't think, yeah, we're not going to make it. Uh, we did get, not, not only in power play, it's not a power play goal, but it's afterwards. So it's a momentum goal, basically. Uh, Schwartz scoring it for us. So we're back within one. Three goals is going to be hard. Oh, yes, per Brat. Right as I say that, boys. Resper Brat ties up the game. If we can slow it down, continue to outshoot them, outplay them, I think Markstrom should be good enough to shut them down, possibly. Now, they do have Kucherov, Brendan Point, uh, Stamkos. They all three of those haven't showed up just yet. The the uh, the biggest defenseman did show up though, so that's kind of scary, right? Their sh defenseman did show up. Are we gonna have to go uh, watch the game again? We are. We're going to overtime again, boys. Let's jump in there, boys. 
Second game where we got to watch our team do their thing. Can uh, Ishiar be better? He's better defenseman than point. Yes, there we go. Winning the faceoffs now. Now it's going to uh, it's going to show us how good they are because they've got all these 90s players. Very dangerous. Killorn's going to miss that sh uh, miss the miss that shot. Uh, we cannot let them shoot up front. Edmund already had a goal today. Do not let him shoot. He's got the hot stick going on, boys. We're going to be struggling uh, right now, all right? Real-time simulation is almost going to be better for us. Would be better in that situation. But a uh, nice little try right there by uh, for a shot. Can you pass it? Can you pass it? Let's go. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Nice job, you uh, use. Nice job. Oh, now, I don't know what my defensemen are doing. There we go. There we go. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Break it out. All right. Break it out, uh, both of you. There we go. Change your lineups. Change your lineups. Big time. All right. So I think they already automatically changed. They didn't wait for me. So that's good. Uh, yes, for uh, Brad. Oh, he's going to go for it. That was uh, Bobby Ryan right there. He's going to try to pass it to uh, the boards. Uh, tell him to shoot it. Bobby Ryan, shoot it. Shoot it. There we go. Offensive zone face off. Uh, I'll keep this. Uh, I'll keep the second line. Nishia, you gotta do your thing, buddy. Do your thing. Win that face off. You won already against Braden Point. Uh, fortunately, Stamkos is a better centerman. All right, that's fine. Don't let him uh, drive like that. There we go. Pick the puck up. Get rid of it. Get in the zone. Get in the zone. Break it out. There we go. Break it out, boys. All right. Time to go. Time to go for a line change. I'm going to wait for... Yeah, I'm going to let my defensemen go in there because I knew if there was going to be a breakout, uh, a, bre a missed breakout right there, we need to uh, do our thing. Go! Nice! Nice breakout right there. Okay. Uh, keep the puck. Keep the puck. Shoot it. There we go. Nice, nice, boys. Uh, we're playing great. Our third defensive pair right there with Nugent Hopkins line uh, is doing fantastic. We got uh, P.K. Subin on the third line right there protecting our net. Go for it, buddy. Go for it. There we go. Pressure him. Pressure him. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Pressure him. Ne next stop. Next time we got a, a, a breakout, I'm going to uh, ask for a line change big time. Uh, Subin, pass it or get rid of it. Yeah, go for uh, go for the line change, buddy. Go for the line change, guys. Uh, line change right now. Go for the line change, all of you. All right, shoot it. Just so we uh, it gives us more time to uh, to go for the line change. Our players are taking our time getting into the zone right here. We're gonna need some help here. Brother breakout, brother breakout, boys. This is our energy line, I think. Yeah, it's a fourth line right there. Energy line. We're going in there. There we go. They they went ahead and switch. Ooh, Mark Strom's gonna have to make that save. All right, we're going for our energy line. Get Slav, Grabner, and Gusev. Let's see if they can make the job against their third line. Uh, I think they can manage. So let's go. We got better depth than them. Better players in the the, the bottom six than them. It's their uh, top six that are be better than us. Oh, that's a big turnover right there by Getzlav. You got to be do better than this, my man. Let's go. You got this. Okay. Uh, yeah, they've got... We got the puck. All right. Time for a line change. Time for a line change. Defensemen. Go for it. Go for the line change. There we go. They went for it, boys. And now I think it's time. Yeah, it's time for the line change on the uh, offensive side. See, great job for the fourth line right there. They know what they're doing, boys. They know what they're doing. Okay, we got to, yeah, we got to block them. Block them. Don't let Nemeskov uh, do their thing. They're going to do it on our zone now. Got to block them. One minute left until uh, the end of this uh, first period of OT, boys. We gotta, we gotta find a way to score. We don't want to get in there too, too long, boys. Uh, all right, Hoffman, get in there. Oh, he almost had his chance, but he got blocked. Inman is playing great defense right now, preventing them from uh, scoring. Yeah, we're changing lines on front. They're doing the same. So let's go, guys. Yeah, we're going in. Oh yes, nice, nice, nice. Go ahead. Oh, that's a bad shot, Brad. What the hell are you doing? It's a two-on-one, or you're going to take a back. Oh, my God, I hate these goddamn, like, backstating passes and stuff like that. These these back shots. Why are they not, uh, like, backhanded shots? Why are they not doing on the forehands? They have all the time in the world. Come on, brat. All right. Let's go, boys. Get it. 
get it done and uh, Veselisky is going to stop that one I think we're going to have to end up going into a second overtime that's going to be rough Nishi are you going to win that face off for me buddy win that face off yeah go ahead oh my god I wanted it to do a one timer that was a perfect opportunity for a one timer he didn't do it that's fine I guess we're going to a uh, second overtime boys wow now this is going to be a long ass game it's a big ass game and the team that wins basically goes to the finals the Stanley Cup finals so very important boys we got the boards uh, at our advantage right here on our side so now that's good we can change whenever we want basically let's go uh go ahead pass it nice oh he, he tried he tried but he got blocked in front def uh, deflected or something all right pa get rid of it don't uh, don't outplay yourself there we go Hoffman, you're doing good. Are you a uh, partial breakout? Nice. Go ahead and get rid of it for the time being. Hoffman's gonna play it. Are you gonna? Uh, are you good? No, I, I'm gonna stay in there. I'm gonna keep it in there for now. Keep him in there because I don't want uh, I don't want any trouble right here. Yeah, prevent them from doing any sort of cross crease or something. We don't want that. Uh, go ahead and change. It's time for the breakout. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Nice try. All right, so defense, you're going to stay the same. Uh, I don't want you to chew, uh, uh, change right now. Okay, now you can change. Defense, you can go change. We're in the breakout right now. Do not lose the puck. We're in a complete uh, puck. We're in a complete breakout right now. Okay, uh, stop a lot. Uh, then in this track. There we go. Breakout go, uh, happening again. Uh, you got this, Bobby. Let's go, Bobby. You got this. Go ahead. Yeah, good job, boys. Go, go, go. Yeah, work for it. Work for it. We're working hard for this puck, boys, right now. Nice. All right, so right now I'm going to go ahead and change. No, okay, we're going to keep the same lineups, I guess. We'll go for the third line right now. Yeah, we need that third line in there. Shoot it, shoot it. Nice little tip up in front. Nice save by uh, Vasilevsky, though. He was ready for it. Uh, uh, Stamko's going to drive it in with uh, Radish. Not going to happen. We're going to stop him. Then he distract. Bobby Ryan is still in there. Um, I don't know why uh, there, there we go there we go go ahead and take some time here uh, keep some time uh, off their, their, their ass the stick we're gonna stop them in their tracks we're playing great defense right there uh, go the de defense is gonna uh, change lines okay are you good no oh my god back and shot again every time I tell them to shoot it as a one-timer per se as a cross crease they're just gonna backhand it that is super annoying boys not fun at all guys come on second overtime and already was five minutes left let's go we gotta find a way to win man i i don't i'm gonna lose my voices we gotta do this for two hours or something oh nice try nice try i went for the little play right there the little cross crease play but uh not gonna happen as mysticov's gonna drive it in he's gonna go for the one timer okay Oof. We stopped him just at the last second right there. Uh, time for the um, energy shift. Energy line right there. Keep uh, com uh, keep uh, company for the last few minutes right here. It's time for the energy line big time. Uh, yeah, we got uh, the best the best defensive line right there. Come on, don't let him drive like that. Fuck, man, guys. Let's go. Go, go, go. Pass it or do something with it. There we go. Energy line, you got, uh, you got some, you got this. Pass, go, go, go. All right, um, go ahead, shoot it. Nice. Do all every single thing you can possibly think of, buddies. Work it out, work it out. All right, uh, go change for the first line. It's fine. You're, uh, you're close to the board, so you can do it. All right, good, good, good. And now we're back in it. We're back in it, boys. Uh, the fans, yeah, I want you. I want the best defense out here. And Vasilevsky is going to stop that little um, play. It's going to be an easy save for him. So far, so good. We're doing okay. Even though they did have some breakaways here and there. So partial breakaways. We can't allow them to have that anymore. All right. It's getting tied up in there. All of our players are going to be super tired. Barry Boulet is going to drop it. Oh, my God. That was scary. Brendan Point, man. Had a point shot in there. Not intended right here. Uh, let's go ahead, shoot it. Let Vasilevsky stop it, I guess. We're going to go for the second line and drop the second uh, defensive line as well. 
All right, Ishir, it's all about you, buddy. All about you. Bobby Ryan, Jesper Brad, I believe in you guys. Right, we got two snipers with the great Ishir in there. So we, uh, you, I know you got it in you. All three of you, you're, you're great players. So go ahead, do your thing. Oh my God, why does I say that? Turnover City, but Killern. Oh, Killern, can we stop him? No, he's going to turn around. Shadon Kirk is going to play the puck with Kucherov. We're going to finally be able to get the rid uh, get them rid of the puck. Oh, go for it. Uh, go for it big time. I'm going to tell the defensemen to go change right now. That's a nice chance by Nico Ishia right there. But he was a little bit ty tired and plus right in front of the goalie. That's kind of a, uh, a fail in itself. Let's go. We, uh, we dropped the, set the third line in there. Let's see if they can do something for us. Uh, there we go. There we go. Nice try and Eugene Hopkins And uh, right now we got a step down. Oh, that's the end of the second overtime We're gonna go into a sixth period for the game boys What a goddamn game. This is six period third overtime uh, period. Good lord Talk about one hell of a game boys. It's never gonna end Never got a goddamn hand. Let's stop then in the tracks. There we go. Uh, break it out easily guys break it out and uh, allow yourselves to you know don't stress uh, the goalie too much Markstrom did a good job this, uh, so far during the playoffs first game which uh, where he allows more than two goals so you you gotta basically play for the goalie right there all right play for him big time he allowed you to uh, to go all the way uh, this far so play for him let's go stop killer and dead in his tracks just like that boys and now we're furthest away from the bench again, so we got to be careful as, uh, as to when we actually change So now would be a great uh, time to change for sure. Oh my god. That's a nice try. Nice try. Nice try Hoffman, can you get it? Nice. That's a one-timer right there by Jack Hughes. That's exactly what I wanted. We're gonna change the lineups again You guys gotta keep it going keep shooting and eventually it's gonna go in just like last game, right? Just like the last one we, uh, we watched Eventually, it's bound to happen. It's, it's bound to go in, boys. Oh shit! Watch out now. Oh, that was a nice try by the, the Temple Bay Lightning. But uh, we got some good defense. We're ready. Our defensemen are ready for that type of shit. We're not gonna let that go through. All right, go through. Yeah, you're you're past. You're past, Bobby Ryan. You're past. Shoot it. Yeah. You never know. Maybe if she shoots it up front, something could happen. Let's draw our third line in there and our third defensive pair. As uh, well. All right, Nugent, Hopkins, Merkley, Schwartz. I believe in you guys. I believe in you. At this point, you're uh, you're not in your energy line, but you can still get it done, right? You're a tweener line. Uh, you can uh, still get it done and be our uh, big time players, our hero, right? Who's gonna be the hero of the game, basically? Who's gonna be the one allowing the other team? Whichever team to go through the finals right here. Palat. Oh my god. No, no, then driving like that. That's a slap shot dead in the zone. All right. You got this, boys. Go straight in. Straight in. Shoot it. Subin. My boy. With a big ass slap shot. It's going to be the hero of the game, boys. After six periods. Uh, you can't trust anyone else than PK Subban himself to do the big old slap shot and defeat Veselevsky and the Tampa Bay Lightning boys. We're moving on to the Stan Stanley Cup Finals. Jack Hughes getting his own award, boys. I don't know which one is this. I don't even know which one is this. Is this the uh, the Wells? I don't, I don't know which one is this, but Jack Hughes just got a trophy, so that's fantastic for him. Congratulations, Jack Hughes. And it looks like we are going to be facing the Vegas Golden Knights in the finals. The cup finals, boys. Oh, I'm so happy that I have Subin on my team. He's playing on the third defensive pair, boys. But all you need from him is a quick slap shot. And he's going to show it. Show to everyone else why he's better than Weber. All right. He's going to show everyone. Why he's got that slapper. Why he's a superstar. That's crazy. He just saves my team right there. That's perfect. And now we have to face these guys. Now these guys. This is the second time in their short career so far. That they've went to the finals. 
can they make it uh, can they manage to make it done this time to do it I don't think I don't think so we're not gonna allow them at least uh, Max Chasso, Derek Ryan and Mark uh, My Mark Stone okay that's kind of a weak lineup yeah they don't have any centers or something why is Derek Ryan playing on the first line boys whatever they've got two uh, great winners though Patch already Galchenyuk and Riley Smith so two uh, players that got dumped uh, by Montreal and uh, playing with Riley Smith, I guess. Uh, Sanford, Carlson, and Frolik. Trocek, Stepan, and uh, Tuck. So they do have the, the bottom six uh, de depth, but uh, overall, they don't even have... The, def the offense itself is not really that impressive. They have Shea Theodore, Martinez... Uh, I guess Schmidt, McNabb, Hogg, and Olden. So defense is weaker than us. Offense is weaker than us. They do have Laner and they have Kakonen. So goalie is pretty much the same. So they still have a good goalie. So if anything's going to make the difference in this game, it's going to be their goalie. Uh, but uh, I don't think that's going to be enough, boys. Stanley Cup Finals. Can we... I, uh, not only be the best team, President's Trophy uh, uh, team in the in the second year only as a GM, and win the game and win the game or uh, and win the cup, or can we or we will f or will we fail completely miserably against the Vegas Golden Knights? Uh, we will see. Mark Stone for now looks like he's popping off out of nowhere, having already two goals. Within three minutes of playtime of each other. Yeah, Mark Stone is dropping up. A two goals already. Okay, Sanford's going to score a goal. God damn. All right. Looks like we're going to be beaten in the finals. Yeah, it's over. All right. It's already over. We didn't show up for this game. The, the one game that mattered the most, boys. Ishia is scoring a goal for us. There we go. Jack Hughes. There we go. My two young prospects playing for me. All right. There we go. Showing up, boys. Come on. All right, boys. Time for a pop-up right here. Time to show you guys that we need this We need this win. All right? It's one goal, two goals away from having the Stanley Cup, from holding the Stanley Cups into our hands. Last time we did it was with uh, Martin Brodeur. We have to... That's a long time ago. We have to have our new dynasty. It's time, boys. Let's go. You got this. Show everyone that you want this cup. Don't let these goddamn bombs over Vegas win the cup over us. Right? We're the best team in the league. Let's do it. Third period, boys. Oh my god, Sanford's get a second goal. Another all-star player, apparently. What the hell did he pop up from, boys? Garbage team, and they still managed to. Alright, Merkley. There we go. There's a fourth goal for us. This is a shootout. Uh, we, oh, my hat trick from Mark Stone. And Grabner is going to score a goal for us. Let's go. Two minutes. One minute. 30 minutes. Oh, 30 seconds. And it's not enough. Oh, my God. Well, the story of the game of the playoffs is going to be Mark Stone, boys. Getting a hat trick for his team and dominating us. They scored six goals. Where was our goalie? Where was Mark Strom? Don't know what he did during this game, boys. But he shot the bed. The fuck? What the? Why did he allow six goals? All right, whatever, man. I'm not gonna blame the goalie. I think he did a good job during the two pre, uh, the two first games. Then the third game, he started to show up as an uh, NHL 20 goaltender, uh, for sure. The th this game, that was definitely it. I mean, six goals, fuck, man. And we like we shot 39 times on Laner. Uh, he did give up five goals, but at some point, we're not gonna be able to score like 10 goals a game. That's not gonna happen. We don't have enough of a deep team for that. I'm happy anyways. I'm happy about the production of our team. We went all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. We could have won the Cup. We, won. we were literally two goals away from winning the Cup, boys. But, uh, you know, I guess it's going to be up for another season. We're going to have to wait it out a little bit further. Uh, we did get the President's Trophy. 
So I, I'm just happy overall, right? Let's skip a little bit forwards for the awards really quick right there. We're going to wait until they show us the awards and stuff. There we go. Vegas Golden Knights winning the cup. All right, let's take a look at the awards. So congrats to the Vegas Golden Knights beating us in the finals. Uh, they outscored us. I guess Mark Stone is a beast. So they got that. Did we get the uh, Prince of Wales trophy? We got it. So that's the one we got. Prince of Wales trophy. Uh, Clarence uh, Campbell going to Vegas. We got the President's trophy. What can we say? We are the best. Af after two years only, we already are the best team in the league. All right, then. Uh, what about uh, team awards, individual awards? Outras McKinnon. Ovechkin, for the for third year in a row, has the Maurice, uh, Maurice Richard uh, trophy. Uh, Ted Lindsay McKin McKinnon. Kopitar against uh, Frank Silky. Jack Adams goes to Rouleau of the Calgary Flames. Bill Masterton, Dottie. Frank Anderson, Freddie Anderson goes, uh, gets the uh, William Jennings. Vedana Trophy goes to uh, Mars, uh, Mars Linskins, or whatever his name is. All right. Uh, Count Smite goes to Derek Ryan. Nobody's going to give it to Bobby, uh, to literally Mark Stone, who literally scored three goals in the same game. It's Mark Stone who made you, made you win that game, buddy. It's not Derek Ryan, of all people. Whatever. A Calder Memorial, Lafreniere, and Lady Bing to Mekinen, James Norris to Brent Burns, and that is pretty much it. All right. So, uh, fantastic so far. Fantastic career for our team. I'm really happy. I'll see you guys for the next uh, season. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.